Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to check out some of the pro Android tips. So it's been quite a while that I did have shown you. So if you are those guys, you know, who have some a good Android knowledge, for example, this uh, ATB and all the commands, fast boot, doing setup. Also, in case you are people who rooted your device, so uh, just let's go and use your rooting feature. And you can just go ahead and install this application. So this application needs some specific requirements. So it is that uh, this application is going to work on the Android Nougat. 7.0 and the Android O. So I'm showing, going to show you guys the Android 7.0, also on the 7.1, 1.1, and this is Android O devices. So you can do pretty much most of things here. And this application is still in the beta, so uh, you may expect some crash and all the stuff. But you know, it's a great application. So just go inside this Play Store. You can see this is application called Custom Navigation Bar. So I have the Pro version. Uh, it's just uh, one and a half dollar. So once you install this application you're going to get all those things here now it there are two methods of installation first in case we have computer which has this adb fast boot install uh, minimal adb you can say or the android sdk then you have to execute one or two basic android commands and i will put my link exact commands are there let's go and check it out there otherwise in case you are reset you can easily do that so i'm just going to show you guys here uh, how you can do that so and this feature needs you know this one called uh, on screen navigation bar in case you are going to uh, try on this you know hardware keys this thing is not going to work because you know this things need this uh, android navigation bar to play and guys uh, this is really great feature you know why do waste the space use that thing so lg stepped up and they tried something extra you know uh, they added a bunch of options so the same way you can do that here so why wait for getting lg g6 or in case you don't have that device you like that feature we can pretty much do that in here so if you just go with the free version so that you just uh, do your job uh, but in case you buy the application you're going to get a lot of features here so as you can see so once you open the application you are inside those things and you have a lot of stuff you can do first thing starting from here you can just change your android navigation bar normal compact tablet so whatever you can do that so i'm just going to take normal also uh, you can just take normalize button so that all buttons are on the equal spacing right here you can see and this is default now it may con conflict here so i've just taken it here to make it you know normalize so that there will be uh, equal partition among all the application and you can change the theme you can see uh, you have you can option you have options to take the default galaxy s8 navigation bar and in case you have nexus devices you can uh, add this pixel navigation bar like i have done because this is a pixel feature so you can do that or you do have this default filled material or the old android stuff you can see right here the very beginning from the android gingerbread and all stuff uh, honeycomb and all the things here and you can also make it invisible you know if you just have got used to it here you can just use it that way so this is your pretty much stuff and going there you have some experimental tricks so i'm just telling you again this is a beta application so it may break but you may get some extra feature in the future so go ahead and try that out and you do have options to hide a navigation bar it is like you know the galaxy s8 feature which you can swipe down and you know with the send mobile concept stuff so there are two options you can do and the idea of this thing came actually from the android o developer preview 2 when there's a new feature inside the system UI tuner called the picture in picture mode already i made a detailed video how you can do that so check out that video too so you should have to set two options here so same feature has been added here so i have taken my uh, extra left button this is where you can see left button once you go inside you have this following option you can uh, launch an application in case you have task you can uh, task at event or toggle profile media volume dialog notification you know just swipe down here you can add those things keyboard switcher key code is a detailed way or clipboard in case you are you know a default android copy paste so i have just selected here so if you just select launch application so you do have options to select any application you want you can see this is icon actually sorry this is application it supports all the application that you want on your phone you can see every application it will so i have just taken camera you know this is fine for me i like uh, defaults to camera a lot so i don't need to take pictures so i can use those things and also you can just use it to swipe it down here and once you have here you can just click on the setting button you can easily go there so now uh, we are going to see how you can do on the rooted device so check out my previous video in case uh, when you do with the computer i'll put that link so this is your starting stuff so just get started so this is the grant permission so if you have rooted you can see if you have a pc install adb on your pc connect your phone with the usb working pin command just type adb shell and this long lasting command you just have to follow my post thing just copy that and paste that otherwise in case you are rooted you just have to click on this copy command click next so 
it will take custom navigation bar is granted super user right so click on the start so it's going to check compatible test in case you got this one here that means you're good to go and click next click finish so this is done and once you go inside this navigation bar you can see we're going to change the layout this is default i'm going to make it a little bit just compact this is called compact here and you can just normalize button so uh, you can just change the theme from here so i'm going to get this galaxy s8 navigation bar here you can see looks so cool so also it looks fine in case you have the normal you can see so just have to those so this is your uh, galaxy s8 navigation bar on the oneplus 3 and 3d so alongside just go here you can just take extra left so i'm going to take here launch application and uh, complete app action you have to select any application you want so whatever application you're using a lot say youtube have selected so you can just select the app icon so uh, there are not much option here but i guess in future we can just browse file and there is an ico file here dot ico you can browse that so you just take it here search you can see once you click here it will launch you have to select it always so that's how you can do that so it will launch your youtube always so this is where you can do that and once you go inside further you have the option to write i'm going to select this new uh, you know notification so that i can easily i can see my notifications you guys can do a lot of stuff and uh, i'm just taking this arrow down you know it just shows you just select this one here and you're good to go so you can just select here you don't have to stretch it down so just click here you can get this notification so guys uh, this is how you can uh, configure and install that so further i'm going to show you how you can add this thing here called uh, this is window option so this is pretty nice here so uh, this is using that you can actually enable this you know picture in picture mode on the android device i guess i have already opened my youtube here so i'm going to show you guys here how you can do that so say already uh, this is your youtube you're playing some video and uh, once you are playing any video you just have to uh, click it here you can see have configured that so this is how your picture in picture mode works so this needs android o so guys there we have it uh, using this application you can do a lot of stuff on your phone for the galaxy s8 some features are still there so s8 guys this is a beta so you can see and uh, only the left button option is there and not further so hopefully in the future you should get those things and there is no other change in the navigation bar so you may just file a request here so you can get it so guys there you have it this is your uh, new navigation bar and improved tip for your android users using that you can do a lot of stuff on your phone so check the video description there is a download link if you like this application you can just buy it and like i did and like you can just customize a lot of uh, ways in your android navigation bar thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video have a great day